The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to use topics and headnotes in Lexis. LexisNexis headnotes identify the major points of law found in an opinion expressed in the actual language of the court. You can use the topics to find cases that have similar headnotes and in turn discuss the same major points of law. You can search for cases by topic or headnotes by first using the search by topic or headnote box located on the right side of the screen. Click on the drop down and select your topic. In this instance let's select criminal law and procedure. This will bring you to the topic index screen where you will have two options for locating subsidiary topics. The first option is to find a legal topic by entering keywords into a search box. Let's try felony murder. We enter in our terms, click find, and our results will appear. The topics that you will want to focus on will be in bold. The second option allows you to browse through subsidiary topics. To browse a topic, click on the blue plus sign located beside the topic name. We can find felony murder by clicking on criminal offenses, homicide, murder, and then felony murder. If you click on the eye beside a topic, such as general overview of felony murder, you will find more information on the topic, such as the string of topics and subtopics that you are in, as well as coverage and description information. To search the topic, click on the hyperlinked name. At the top of the search screen, you will again find your topic and subtopic string. Browse Topic Index will allow you to return to the topic index. The search screen will provide you with two options for searching, however, let's focus on option two, which is searching case headnotes. You would first select your jurisdiction. In this case, let's try federal cases. Select a date range. Let's try previous ten years. And then you would click on Retrieve All. Retrieve All will pull back all of the headnotes classified to the topic or cases that discuss your topic even if there isn't a specific headnote. Once you get to your results list, you will have a couple of options. You can limit the number of results by searching for key terms using focus terms. You can also change how the results are sorted by using sort by. If you look at the list of results, you will notice that some cases only highlight the topic, while others have headnotes that correspond to your topic. To show only those cases that have headnotes on your topic, click Show Headnotes Only at the top of the screen. The headnotes tagged with your selected topic will be in bold under the case name. Click on the case name to enter the case. The second way to search for cases by topic or headnotes is to click on the Search tab drop-down and select Topic or Headnote under Search By. The first choice you have is to access recently used legal topics. Simply click on the drop down and select your topic. The next options under look for a legal topic are the ones that we have used previously. You can find a legal topic by searching for key terms or you can browse for topics and subsidiary topics under option 2. If we click on criminal law we return to the criminal law topic index which we have previously viewed. From there you could browse for a topic and then search for headnotes on that topic. Now that we know how to find cases by topics and headnotes, let's explore what they look like inside of a case. The headnotes in Lexis are located just after the caption and case summary. Each LexisNexis headnote is numbered, such as Headnote 1, and displays a down arrow next to the text. If you click on the down arrow or the LexisNexis headnote number, you will jump to the corresponding text for that headnote in the body of the case. You can return to the corresponding headnote for that section of the case by clicking on the headnote number. Some headnotes may have the more like this headnote function. If you click on more like this headnote, you can view all of the cases with LexisNexis headnotes related to that specific headnote. You also have the option to limit those results by jurisdiction and by date. 
Each headnote will have one or more corresponding topics. The topics correspond to the headnotes below them. Next to each topic stream is the Retrieve All icon. You can use this to view all of the cases with headnotes on this topic, as well as additional cases containing discussion relevant to the topic. To do so, click on the Retrieve All icon, select your jurisdiction, and then select a date. Finally, click Go to retrieve your results. If you click on one of the subtopics inside of the topic string, such as Effect and Operation, you will return to the topic index. That is it for your overview of how to use topics and headnotes in Lexis.